Hey what's up guys, this is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial and I think this time we need to talk about using MoGraph fields to achieve something like this. So cutting objects into pieces, giving it different materials, also give it like this deceased look here with the spheres cloned onto the surface of the face. So here are just a couple of, of examples. You can see I just give it different textures and materials but I think this is the technique we want to learn today. So why don't we just start in Cinema 4D and let's just do it, all right? So see you in Cinema 4D, guys. Just a quick note. So if you are curious about the materials, I'm sorry, this is not part of this training. In this course, we will only talk about the MoGra Fields technique to cut your object into pieces. And maybe we will have time to talk about materials later on Patreon. I'm not sure yet. So. Let's continue with the training. All right, this is my Cinema 4D and I already placed a four-faced Buddha inside of my scene. You can use, of course, your own model. So I would suggest you just do something else like I do. I just want to see it on a different model. Maybe you share it with me on Instagram, but let me just show you where you can find models. If you still don't know about the site, scan the world here, you get these models for free. They are really high resolution and they work perfectly for stuff like this. So I already used this one for an X particle simulation, but today I just want to use the Buddha. All right, so let me think about how to do it. I guess we want to first put it into a builder. So hold down Alt, put it into a builder and put the builder in the measure. All right, and you get something like this. Okay, so this is really hardcore decimated. Let's just see, so not a lot of polygons there. Interesting, what we can make of a Buddha here. Hmm. But of course the voxel size is way too high, so put it to two, that is still way too high. Put it to one, put it to 0.5, put it to 0 0.5. I always like to half the amount of it. Let me just check it. Okay, this is decent, so for working, I would say we could stick to something around 0.2, but when you make the final thing, you could go for 0.1, for example, or even lower. But for now, just for speed sake, I will stick to 0.2. And if you think this is too ugly, you can of course put a smooth into it. Maybe not a Gaussian because Gaussian is super brutal in the smoothing. So this is the highest smoothing rate and this will keep more of the original shapes but this would be slower in the calculation. Okay, so I just go for, let me just check median. Let me deactivate it. Okay, this is a little bit of smoothing. Let's just stick to it for now, but I think, <laughs> no, I just changed my mind. So let's stay to 0.2 and we don't care about edges here because we know we will polish this one. Let's grab a, let's go for a matrix. All right. Oh, I didn't knew. <laughs> okay, so I was just shortly confused that we get something like a texture here. But of course, this is just a grid of cubes. And they are huge. Let me just check my scene scale for a second. I just grab a cube here. Okay, so in relation to our scene, the, the standard cube, this is really small. So maybe let me just quickly go to my Buddha face and just put it to a bigger size here. I would say this will be, yeah, that's a good shape. So I always stick to something around the standard cube. I know that this will work fine, for example, for soft body calculations, but okay. So let's continue with this one. So we have a matrix here. Okay, I also deactivated the measure for now. We don't really need to see it. So go to the matrix and what we want to do is actually to, oh, I already closed it, man. But you know, my original renders where we have like this balls, like spheres on the surface of the Buddha's head and they are spread in a nice pattern. And I think we just want to do this right now. So what we will do is use a matrix or a cloner to clone spheres on top of it, use a shader effector or a random to get rid of certain parts. And then we want to make a union with this one, with the original head and the spheres and we have a new mesh that looks like there is some ugly disease on the head. All right, so this is the principle, the idea I have behind it. So go to the matrix, set it to object, and then just clone onto 
on, sorry, on the Buddha's head. Okay, so just think about these boxes like spheres. And for now, 20 is way too much. So let's try 1000. This is still too less. So put it to 5000. Maybe this is already enough of it. Okay, so now we want to make a couple of these matrices disappear and a couple of them stay. Therefore, we use a noise pattern to get a beautiful pattern for our disease on this face. Okay, so let me just think about how to do it. Maybe let's go to MoGraph and Effectors. I just grab them and put them there. And you have multiple options now. I would say we just use a shader effector for this time. And the old way, I always did it like this. So go to the shader, put a noise inside of it, go into the noise, change the contrast and the brightness until you have something you like. Let's see. I just still need to. Okay, so <laughs> I know why this is not working as expected. First, of course, go to the parameters and we want to make this one disappear. So put it to minus one and parts of the clones will be not seen in rendering. So you can see I have a couple of them. Put this one to maybe 500 or go even to 900. And then you get bigger splotches or patterns of your noise. For example, something like this. Okay, so let me just go through the seed until we have something that we like. I think this is just too big in the scaling. So go down maybe to 400. And that's way more interesting. So oh, okay, let me just go back to my noise. Maybe let me just see how Nutris is looking. I'm just curious. So this is also interesting. Maybe put this one to 800. Go lower with your with your values, clamp it, put it to something around there. Of course, you can still go into your matrix, matrix and put this one to 10,000. So this will be one way how you can spread this matrix onto your face. Now you want to make a beautiful Boolean union operation here with the volume builder. So I would say you could put your matrix inside of it, go to the builder and let's say, Yes, this would be union, put the smooth on top of it. This looks like some acne or I don't know the English word, but you can easily fix this. If you go to use particle size, click it. Let's go to the radius. I think we just need to increase this one, put it to two. Okay, so now we are getting there, all right? So put it maybe to, <laughs> okay. So three is already looking, oh man, that looks so disgusting. I get goosebumps from it but maybe you like it. Okay, so this will be, I think this is looking cool. So I just quickly go to my voxel size, put this one to 0 0.5, just to get more speed into my hardware setup because this is already getting slower. Okay, so we have some ugly facial disease there. Oh man, oh, poor guy, poor Buddha, but I think Buddha don't care about it. Okay, maybe I just show you another way how you can do it. So um, let's deactivate the shader effector and let's get our matrix just for now. Let's put it out of it and let's say, yes, I will activate the shader effector once again and now get rid of the, of the noise in the shading, but go to your fall off. And of course you could also use a random field there, which also works with noises in conjunction but now you have the problem you can't change the black and white noise so easily so therefore i think an option would be to let me just quickly see if i can use a curve on it let's see put a curve to so this is just like photoshop curves and you can see i also can get rid of color values there and get a different noise so you can go back to your random noise put this one to 500 and basically you will achieve the same result, right? So put the shader into your builder, no markers, don't do that. Put the matrix of course into your builder hierarchy and then this will be the matrix and it's already working, okay? So maybe we just put this one to eight or put it to 12, uh, put it to 20. 
Yes. Okay. So this would be how you can also do it. Okay. So why don't we just let's see how the smooth is working on top of it. All right. So look at that beauty. Mm, yes. I think you want to put this one into your renderings, right? So nice stuff so far. Or should I say ugly? I don't know. I mean, it's just uh, up to your taste, right? So let me think about how we can uh, make this even cooler. Okay. All right. So I think that's a good start, but we can make this way better. So let me think about how we can do this one. So maybe just for speed sake, we will just reduce this one to 5000. And later when we set everything up, we can still put more into it again. Okay. So just give it a second go to your builder and I think the matrix here, so the radius of these ones, 20, that seems to be fine. But the voxel size for now, I would just put it back to something like one. That will decrease the resolution, but we can work faster. Okay, so let's say, I just say, I just say this will be one and we just make a duplicate of it, okay? I wish it would just rename it to two, but hey, that's okay. So unfold this one and maybe for now we just deactivate this one completely. Okay. And now we want to work in the second measure setup. Now I think this time we want to, let's see what happens if we just say, let's just rearrange it. Let's say this one is on top. And now how about we just subtract the Buddha's head from the matrices. Okay, so let me just see if this is a clever solution here. <laughs> no, I have a better idea. So when we just reverse it and let's say we subtract a matrix from our Buddha set, then we cut holes into our object. And I think this is a cool solution here. So let me just for now that it looks better, put it back to 10,000. Okay, let's go into the builder and let's say this one, the voxel size, we just put it down back to 0 0.5. I just want to see how this is looking. Okay, that's very interesting. Go into the smoother and I think this one just smooths it too harsh. Okay, so let me just deactivate it. Let's see. All right, so much more detail. But I think I still want to keep it. But I want to change the voxel distance to 1. So this will decrease the effect of it. And I also want to half the strength just to have a minor effect of the smooth effector. Let's just see in comparison. This is without it. This is with it. This one. Okay. And I think this will make it just a bit more interesting. Wow. So we booled out, we cut out his eyes and part of the nose. So I think this is a very nice technique. And to just see it better, I think what would help is to go into the builder to the basic and let's say display color on and not Let's not use white, but let's say this one will be orange, for example, and give it a second to apply the material. Maybe we just call this one subtract, subtract. Okay, perfect. So how about we build a negative shape there where we have the <laughs> only the spheres visible. So I think I just want to duplicate this one. Okay, so to duplicate it, I just temporarily switch these ones off. I think it's just better for the calculations. Duplicate it and let's call this one free. Only spheres maybe. Okay, and how about we just go into the builder there. Let's say this one will be blue so that we just can see it a little bit better. All right, so now when I go into my builder, go into the hierarchy, and I think this time we just want to say, let's see, I think we just want to have the matrices as spheres, right? So actually we don't really need a bool operation there. So I think we just can put the Buddha out of the volume builder hierarchy and get something like this. So go into the builder, go to the matrices. They are smoothed. So let me just quickly check this once again. Yes, that's perfect. To the radius. Let me just quickly check the radius once more. So when I put it to 15, they should get smaller. Yes, that's good. And I think we want to make them a little bit smaller. So they perfectly fit into our cut out subtracted shape before. So I think 15 is too much, but let's just combine these two. So let's see when I now activate 
this stuff again. We don't need to activate the measure, but the builder, let's see. All right, not too bad, huh? So I think these blue pieces, they fit perfectly into the yellow one. Let's just temporarily deactivate this one. All right, so you can see they fit into these shapes here. And I think this is pretty cool. Okay, so we want to make this just a little bit more clear. So therefore I would go to my only spheres volume builder. And I think the radius, we just put this one to maybe 12. Let's see. Okay, and this is just, I just feel like now you get the border here. You can feel it a little bit better that this is not just a union shape, but it is really like it's molded into it. Like there is a perfect fit for these spheres. Okay, interesting. All right, guys, I think this is it for the YouTube part. I think you already learned some cool techniques here. So what I did in this rendering is just a couple of more of the same Boolean operations. And if you are interested to see how I did it, you can follow me, of course, on Patreon. This is the place to be. If you want to support me, I would be more than thankful because teaching this stuff is just my dream. And if you support me, man, I could spend even more hours into it and maybe do it full time. That would be unbelievable. So check this place out. I have lots of good content over there. Thank you so much for listening. See you next time. Bye, guys.